This is a 6 horsepower air drive pump, model GSF-60. All 6, 8 and 14 inch pumps use the same air valve and will require the same maintenance procedures regardless of piston size. This model features an external cycling valve. The spool is located inside of this housing. Here are the mufflers, the hydraulic inlet and the hydraulic outlet. Periodic lubrication of the spool O-rings is required for regular maintenance. Also, if you're experiencing continuous airflow or leakage from the mufflers, we recommend you perform a complete seal kit replacement which will be outlined in the following lesson. First, loosen and unscrew the mufflers. To gain access to the seals inside of the cycling valve, you will need to disassemble the cycling valve by loosening the set pin located here on the side. Then, with a long screwdriver, turn the ring nut counterclockwise and remove it. Next, use pliers to pull out the piston. Once the piston is removed, you need to push the spool toward the opening. You can do this either by going through the left muffler port or by removing the end cap and pushing more directly. Now remove the bumper. Then pull out the spool. The two O-rings on the spool and the O-ring on the piston need to be lubricated regularly and replaced if necessary. Dry or damaged O-rings is one of the most common causes of leakage. These O-rings will be included in your seal replacement kit. When performing a full seal replacement, you will also need to remove the sleeve from the cycling valve. Use the Haskell sleeve removal tool and a screwdriver to do this. We recommend the tool because it's easier, but you can also use a simple Allen wrench and a pair of pliers or vice grips to do this job. Now remove the other bumper. This is the basic assembly of internal parts of the external cycling valve. You have a bumper at the bottom of the sleeve, the spool, the other bumper, and the piston assembly. The piston assembly also has O-rings, one here and two more on the outer diameter of the casting. Plus, there's an additional O-ring inside. To access this O-ring, insert a long object through the side and use an 11 16 wrench to loosen the end cap. This will reveal an additional O-ring on the internal piston end and an O-ring on the end cap. These will also be included in your seal kit. Lubricate all O-rings using Haskell silicone-based lubricant. Be sure to spread the lubricant evenly over every O-ring. To reassemble the pump, begin by replacing the end cap on the piston assembly. Next, return the inner parts into the cycling valve housing. Start with the first bumper. Use a long object to make sure it's seated flat. Now carefully push in the sleeve with the lubricated O-rings, making sure not to twist or damage the O-rings during insertion. Turning the sleeve sometimes helps this process. Be sure to push the sleeve all the way down until it bottoms out. Next, insert the spool. Add the second bumper. Followed by the piston assembly. Finally, screw the ring nut on the end until it is tight and then re-tighten the set pin on the side. This concludes the cycling valve portion of the seal replacement process for this model.